Hello, Leo. It's time for your weekly love reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Leo. What's up? Hit the thumbs up if this one resonates. If so, the link to the extended reading is below where we just dive a little deeper. Just a quick note, I am not uh, accepting any personal readings right now. It's not forever. It's just on pause for a little bit. I'll let you guys know when that opens up again. All right, Leo, what's up? Let's see what's coming in. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Leo. Please keep in mind, it may or may not resonate. If not, check out your moon or your rising sign. One more shuffle. What does Leo need to know about love? 29th through July 5th. What's up? I always pre-shuffle the deck, so we are set to go. Let's see. What's up? All right, coming into the current moment, what do we have? Queen of Swords in Reverse. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. What's challenging or influencing that Queen of Swords in reverse? The Seven of Pentacles. What's on your mind, Leo? What's going through your thoughts? Ooh, the devil. All right, Capricorn energy, devil energy. All right, what happened in the recent past in love? The Two of Swords, more Libra in energy. So maybe you have Libra in your chart. What's the reason this is all going down? The Eight of Swords. All right, coming into the near future, what will you experience? The Knight of Wands in reverse, Sag energy. How do you see yourself right now? What are you up to? The Wheel of Fortune. In your environment coming in, so external to you, what's coming in that you don't see? The Nine of Cups. In your emotions, how are you feeling? Justice, more Libra in energy, Leo. And what's the outcome? How's this gonna play out? The Nine of Swords. All right, so there's definitely some, you know, mental restrictions going on here, kind of being in your head, thinking about something quite a bit. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. The death card, sign of Scorpio. So there's been an ending of some sort, most likely. All right, let's see what's up. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, uh, June 29th through July 5th. I'm going to use the Light Sears deck to clarify. Let's see what's coming in for Leo. Let's see what we can see here in regards to love. Knight of Wands in reverse could be dealing with somebody that's been very in and out. You know, they that Nine of Cups is external to you. With that Knight of Wands in reverse, it just kind of seems that somebody, you know, a little bit self-serving, a little bit smug energy that tends to dip in and dip out. So that could be, you know, coming in for you. Not very loyal, though, with that Knight of Wands in reverse. Somebody that tends to play around a little bit. Um, you're either at a stalemate with this person or, again, the energy's just stuck. I've got the Eight of Swords with the Devil both here. And those both can be the energy of something just kind of out of your hands right? Thinking about it a lot, but it's a lot of stuck energy due to somebody's toxic behavior, right? And I think you've had it. You got the Queen of Swords in reverse here. You're ha you're not happy. Queen of Swords in reverse is just, sh she's had it. Sometimes she'll tell you to F off, you know, you, your dog, your hamster, anybody that'll listen, but she's been backed into that corner. You know, she's becoming detached, but she's got a few things to say as she pushes you out the door. And it's because of the Seven of Pentacles. Getting tired of waiting, getting tired of disappointment, and you know, putting in hard work to situations that just seem to be a waste of time around this energy. All right, let's clarify. What's the death card? So coming into the reading, Leo, you've got the death card energy, Scorpio. What's this death card for Leo? And the Six of Pentacles. There could be an imbalance. Something's been one-sided for quite a while. And it's time to just, you know, no more one-sided stuff. You know that you have to end something here. Could have been an ending due to somebody giving to somebody else as well. And with the Page of Cups here, you know, giving this very immature small offer. What's this Page of Cups? What's this about? The Wheel of Fortune. Time to go for your dreams, right? You feel probably don't feel good about having to cut somebody off, but that Page of Cups is pursuing new love. What's this Wheel of Fortune? Let me do one more card on that. And the Sun. There you are, Leo. Major Arcana. I think you're starting to see things clearly. You know, the, there needs to be change here, and I think you see that. You need to have more balance in your love life. Some of you are pursuing that in a new direction. Um, and it's just time. You know that the wheel's going to start turning in your favor when you can start healing from this and seeing things clearly. 
Now coming in right now, we've got a queen of swords in reverse. Why? Because of the 10 of cups. Woo. All right. What's this 10 of cups? Why is this here? 10 of cups. What's this 10 of cups? And the hermit, sign of Virgo. Some of you are dealing with somebody that maybe was married and they've ghosted or you've decided to finally just pull away from this person and end it because you know you need change here. And, you know, the hermit's kind of going within. How do I get my happiness, right? Very detached, not real happy, but having to pull away to kind of research and figure out how to get that happiness in your life. What's influencing this is the Seven of Pentacles and the Emperor in Reverse. Sign of Aries. <sighs> Reflecting, right? Waiting, kind of looking at the past with this person. Somebody that, you know, has had no boundaries, right? They can be quite, they can lash out. They can be quite angry when they don't get their way. It's a loss of control. And I think that you're doing a lot of reflecting on that. And you're just, again, you've just kind of had it. On your mind is the devil. Why? Capricorn energy and the star. Sign of Aquarius. Healing from something that has left you very, very stuck. You know, the devil energy is restrictions. It's, you know, something toxic within the connection that leaves you stuck and not being able to move forward. And with the star energy here, yep, and the six of swords, the water uber. This is realizations here for Leo that you guys have been in probably a toxic, very stuck situation for quite a while. And in order to be able to manifest this happiness, you have to pull away from this energy. You've done a lot of reflecting. You're disappointed. You've probably waited for quite a while for this to change. And you know to get to a more peaceful place in your mind and to be able to manifest your dreams and your wishes, time to move forward. All right. Also, some, I think that this energy also, Leo, you really invested a lot in, in the past. You really thought this was your person, and it's just been toxic. In the past, you've got the Two of Swords, why? And the Nine of Pentacles, wanting to free yourself, but really not knowing how to make that decision, how to take off the blindfold, right? It's kind of ignoring your intu intuition for a while. What's this Nine of Pentacles for Leo and the Seven of Cups? Because there was an emotional confusion. I know I need to be separate and independent from this energy, but I have to make that decision. I have to finally take off the blindfold. I know my worth, right? But this person may have caused quite a bit of illusions in the past, and it left you very stuck. The situation is this Eight of Swords. Why is this here? And the Three of Wands in reverse. Frustration is the Eight of Swords as well, because you know that you have to turn your back on the situation. It's not going to manifest. And, you know, it's just, again, kind of putting a stalemate between you and somebody else, but really feeling, you know, in your head quite a bit about it. What's this Three of Wands in reverse in the foundation? There you are, Leo, Six of Wands, dealing with somebody who kind of wanted their cake and wanted to eat it too. And you just, you're tired of it. You're tired of feeling like your hands are tied here. You want victory. It's just six of wands. Yep, I'm putting an end to it. I feel like Leo's finally putting their foot down. I do. Coming into the near future, you'll experience the knight of wands in reverse. That's your energy, but I don't feel like it's you. I think it's you kind of stopping the passion, stopping this person from coming in and out of your life. What's this knight of wands in reverse? And the five of wands. Too much competition around this person. I don't feel like you're the only person at play in here, here in this past energy, with this current energy. And I think that with this conflict, you're just you're you're putting a halt to it. What's this five of wands? The Empress in reverse. This person could certainly be married, but you know, the energy coming in, if they come in to communicate, they're still around you, you're like, nope, too much drama, too much conflict around this. There's no movement. There's no growth, no, no potential. You've got Libra, Taurus energy in there. This connection will no longer be nurtured. There's no more expansion here. And I think you know that. You're ready for change. You see yourself as the wheel of fortune. Why is this here for Leo? The two of wands in reverse. It's time to move forward with that wheel. You see yourself going through some changes. Maybe you weren't expecting to have to cut this person off, right? Because I do feel like you wanted to manifest this for quite a while. But it's time to change. You know, you're moving forward here. You want that good luck. You want that change. And 
it's away from people that just weren't making plans for the future or a particular person not taking action. It's just two of wands in reverse. And the nine of wands, you'll hang in there, persevering. That's your card. You're tired, you're leery, you, you know, you're cautious. You've got some trust issues here, but it's because you've been dealing with somebody who just wouldn't get off the lawn chair and make a decision. And you're a little bit at a crossroads now, but you know you can push forward and hang in there. In your environment coming in, you've got a nine of cups. Why is this coming in for Leo? What's this nine of cups about? The queen of pentacles in reverse. See, they have another energy around them. Could be a wife, could be an earth sign. Who's this queen of pentacles in reverse? And the hanged man, Pisces energy. So they just leave you stuck. They leave you waiting. Very smug energy. Again, they want their cake and they want to eat it too. And I think you're putting this to a halt. Hanged man is, look, this isn't going anywhere. I'm tired of waiting. Hanged man, seven of swords in reverse. They'll probably come in and, and you know, fess up to something. That seven of swords for me in reverse is kind of, it can be guilt, but it's also having some clarity and coming in. It's almost like they feel you uh, moving forward. So they come in to confess something or they feel guilt. What's the seven of swords in reverse? And the ace of pentacles. What are they going to do with this ace of pentacles towards Leo? What is this? Judgment. Yeah, see? But I feel like this is a repetitive cycle that you're living in with that wheel of fortune. What's this judgment about? And the magician. But they're a magician. Virgo, Gemini energy. They they tend to kind of do this. That's why you've got that knight of wands in reverse coming in. It's very in and out energy. It's not the most dependable or reliable. But they look good. They smell good. And they know all the right things to say. So be prepared for that. What's this uh, magician doing? The page of wands. There's that communication. What are they doing with this communication towards Leo? What is this? The five of pentacles in reverse. Yep, here they come. The player is back. What is Leo going to do when they come back around? What will Leo do with this energy? Five of pentacles in reverse. The knight of cups. You'll be happy. But... At the same time, I think you already know this person's done this before. This is some sort of cycle. And you know what they want. The Nine of Cups, you know, wants the cookie. But they don't want to kind of commit is what this looks like. In your emotions, you feel justice. You're ready for things to turn in your favor. Libra energy. And the Queen of Wands. There you are, Leo. Action here. Some of you want this person to come back around. You still feel that spark, but a lot of you know this. It's like you know, you already know what you need to know. But at the same time, you want to hear from them. What's this Queen of Wands probably? Yeah. And the Ace of Wands. See, there's still a very strong attraction to this person. That's why there was all this confusion in the past. You'll hear from them. This person's still around you, but they're non committal, is the problem. It's already ended. And this person comes in and out. And it leaves you kind of stressed with this Nine of Swords. What's this Nine of Swords in the outcome for Leo? What do they need to know about the Nine of Swords? The Queen of Cups. Listening to that intuition, right? But you have a lot of emotion for this person. And that's why it stresses you out. Because you don't, you want more than just like a spark. You want more than just, you know, passion. You have emotion for this person. What's this Queen of Cups doing? King of Wands, there you are, Leo. There's a lot of passion in this in this reading. Could be dealing with another fire sign, but also, you know, that King of Wands says, hey, take my wand, and it's going to be hard for you not to, Leo. I'm just saying. What's this King of Wands? And the world. Learning lessons here. It's like you know better, right? That's what I'm feeling. What's this world? And the King of Cups. <laughs> Look at that. Look at all that energy. I think also, too, for some of you, this person's already married or they're in a commitment here and you just don't want to repeat the cycle. But at the same time, you're like, oh, my God, I feel so much passion, such a strong draw to this person. Six of Cups in reverse came out. That can be, you know, clinging on to the past or the past returning. But it's also like, oh, here we go again. It's not the fondest memories here. What's the Six of Cups in reverse for Leo and the devil? Temptation. Look at that. I mean, I don't know that I would be able to re resist that devil energy. He says, come hither. It's a very strong pull. It's temptation. It's feeling a very strong attraction. The devil gets you in their web. 
So you have somebody that either you're on a break with, you're trying to end it. For some of you, you're not even apart from this person. It's just that very kind of going back and forth energy. It's like, you know, three steps forward, four steps back, that type of thing. That's what I'm getting here. And they draw you in. But the problem is they keep coming in and doing that and then leaving. And I think a lot of you are probably waiting on this person. You know that you've had to end it or you want to end it, depending on your story. But that that chemistry and that attraction is so, so strong. It's hard to resist. Let's see. What what uh, is this person going to offer Leo a commitment? What's this about? Give me this devil energy. What's this devil energy? The queen of swords. You're going to give them an ultimatum. You're going to have a sit down. This is you're drawing up that sword. Remember, we came into the reading with her in reverse because this person's pissed you off and they've hurt you. This is queen of swords. The ace of swords. You better speak the truth, says Leo. What's the truth here? Will they tell Leo the truth? What's this uh, ace of swords? What's going to become of this? The four of swords. I think a lot of you, as soon as you give this person an ultimatum, great, we've got this chemistry. You've come back around. We've had a really good time. There's a lot of physical attraction here. But as soon as you start giving them that ultimatum to speak their truth, they pull away again. It's very in and out energy, Leo. So you're going to have to decide what you want to do with this. Yeah, the connection's strong, but I don't want to see them kind of keep coming in and out, which it looks like they're doing. All right, if you want the extended reading, it's below. We'll dive in deeper to this person and see what their real motives are here and the outcome. And I will see you there. If not, loving you hard. Love me hard back and we'll speak soon. Take care.